Greetings, and thank you for coming to support us by watching today's video. If you would like to support us even more, you can do so by clicking on the like button, posting a comment down below, and of course, if you would like to see more videos like this, make sure to click that subscribe button. Greetings people of the world, Matthew back with you here in Overall Autism, and I think it's about time that we brought back Super Mario Sundays for the summer. And, to commemorate its return, we're going to be playing Mario Party 2. Yeah, it's pr the most famous version of Mario Party 2, and it's the only one that you can get available on the Wii Virtual Console, so that's why I'm playing it. So, yeah, I'm stuck with this one, but we're going to have fun playing it anyway, so why don't we get started? It's, of course, known for the fact that when you take on the various boards, you get to... Um, cosplay, the each of the players gets to co cosplay um, based on whatever land it is you're going. Now you may notice that in the middle is there is a space actually missing. Um, I do not know how to, there is, because there is a sixth board. I do not know how to get it. I don't, I don't know if it's because you have to unlock or play all the other boards first before you unlock the sixth one. Or if you have to accum accumulate enough coins to get the sixth board to unlock. But hopefully... By the time the summer is over, we'll get the sixth board unlocked and we'll play that too. So, why do you say we get started and choose our destination? Now, as in, as is the case with all Mario Party 2 playthroughs on YouTube, we are going to start at Pirate Land. So, what do you say we go ahead and take the warp pipe there? Okay. And Toad will jump into his own little mini boat. So, since I'm playing just by myself, we are going to have one player for myself and three computer players. And so, I decided that as far as the um, game is concerned, because this was inspired actually a couple of weeks ago by me getting a recommendation for a Mario Party highlight montage um, for the Runaway Guys, I decided that I would have... My, I would just play the character I want and have the three um, characters that I choose for the computer be inspired by the choices of the Runaway Guys. Now, because this is more on your party two and not three, that means there's no Waluigi, which means there's no Waluigi number one! <laughs> so yeah, sorry to disappoint all the Proton John fans out there, but we're gonna go ahead and pick what he would have picked in Mario Party 2. As for myself, I'll be playing as Luigi, and I'll be playing, um... And then I'll have Proton John's character, which was Mario. Um, Nintendo Capri Sun's character, which is Yoshi. And Chugga Conroy's favorite character, Donkey Kong. So yeah, it's like the Runaway guys are playing with me. But they're not actually. And we're gonna set all same to normal difficulty. And as tradition with Mario Party playthroughs, we will go with the default 20 turn game. And at the end of the game, you get the opportunity to get bonus stars based on certain achievements. We will include those. And so, let's get to it. Now there you're done, let's go! We see the light. And we're heading off to the Caribbean with Pirate Land. <laughs> yeah, cosplay time! Let's do it! And this poor Koopa gets destroyed. Yeah, cannonball up your ass! And so, we have arrived! Hey there, Toad. We're here, everyone! This is Pirate Land! This is a tropical isle! Pirates are scouring this island in search of the secret treasure! You too shall become pirates and scour the island for booty! <laughs> so and so weird ones coming out of Toad. Your objective this time! Coming in on a anchor attached to a barrel is to defeat Captain Bowser, your nemesis, and find the treasure. To find the secret treasure to become the superstar of Pirate Land. Now before this adventure begins, we must decide turn order. Ouch! Cannonball in the face! Oh wow. <laughs> the only way I'm going to go first is if I roll 10. But nope, it's going to be Mario who gets the initiative, followed by Donkey Kong, then myself, and then Yoshi. So basically, it's Mario, Chugga, myself, and then and then Tim. And then we get 10 coins to start the game. Let us begin. 
So if I know Mario Party 2, and I do, we should see that the first star is going to be in its traditional location on this south island, which is quite a bit of distance away. And you have to go through quite a number of precarious obstacles in order to get there. And also, Baby Bowser is over on the, that opposite side. If anyone crosses this path, you're more than likely going to lose 5 coins, but on the rare occasion, he'll give you 5 coins. But it takes 20 coins to get a star. If you make it there first, of course. Anytime you land on a blue stip base, you get 3 additional coins. And then Donkey Kong's going to land on a treasure space. Which means he's going to tr play a treasure chest minigame. There are a variety of items that he can attempt to win. But he also has to be careful to not hit Bowser Jr. Which will be hiding in barrel number 6. So yeah, just like any typical shell game, they'll get the barrels rolling to try and throw you off of your intended target. So let's see what Donkey Kong goes after. He goes going top left. And got the Golden Mushroom, the best item he could have gotten. So yeah, that worked out very well for him. So yeah, Chugga gets a Gold Mushroom. And now it's my turn. And, well, that's not a good start because I hit a red square, which means I lose three coins. And Yoshi gets the maximum roll, which is ten. He's gonna pass by the Koopa Bank space, which means he loses five coins. If you land on it exactly, you get the amount of coins that have been accumulated to that point. So we're going to start off with a three-on-one game. Chosen at random. And we're going to start with Shock, Drop, and Roll. Okay, so for this game, I have to throw the lever left and right in order to, to get the other three to fall off. So for me, I have to press left and right to change the direction of the turbine. And these three have to try and save themselves. Let's see how we do. Yeah, it's me versus the runaway guys in a game of shock, drop, and roll. Here we go. Yeah, sometimes you have to be really clever with how you get it done. Alright, got him to fall off. That's one. Oh, yep, go back, go back. Oh, gonna be determined here. Oh, if he survives for the whole 30 seconds, his entire team wins, but I got him off. I win the first mini game, And in so doing, get 10 coins. So, from last to first in one turn. But then again, that was only the first turn. Well, Lucky Mario, he gets the five coins that Yoshi just dropped. So yeah, that kind of worked out for him. And now it's over to me. Uh, two again? Well, at least this time I'm playing for the treasure. And I get my own chance to play for something. Now the treasure I want to get is the gold mushroom. Which is will allow me to roll three dice at once. So I want to keep my focus on that. It's in the top right corner currently. Let's see where it goes. So far, this is easy. It helped that it didn't move at all in the second shift. Um, can I hit the barrel? Thanks. Yeah, it's not easy when you're playing this on a gamepad. But I got the gold mushroom, which is exactly what I was looking for. So that means I get to roll three dice on my next turn if I so want. In fact, I'm shocked Donkey Kong didn't use his gold mushroom. Yeah, if you pass by the item shop, you need at least ten coins to see what they're offering you. So, four-player game, what are we going to play? Tipsy Tourney. Now, if I remember this one, yeah, it's this one with the sliding puzzle. All, I, all you have to do is um, make the shell move in such a way that you get all the tiles revealed. The first one to do all that wins the game. It's pretty much w one round and sh let the shell follow you. Right down. Yeah, it's always the, the hardest part is always the middle. 
Oh, if I can get it to go this way. Finish! I think I got it. Yep. Two games in a row. Two games in a row, man! Well, I'm off to a good start as far as mini games are concerned. But, for Mario, he's gonna find himself in a bad way against Bowser. If you ever land on Bowser, you stand a very good chance of losing your coins. Which is exactly what's gonna happen to Mario. He's going to lose 20 coins. But since he didn't have enough coins at all, that means he's broke. And he plummets to the bottom, so yeah. Proton John, not in the best way right now. I'm really shocked that Donkey Kong is not using his... his gold mushroom. Alright, let's see if I can make the most of my gold mushroom here. I do get three mush... three dice worth out of it. Let's see how much I get. Wow, I really like the number two right now. Unreal. I've rolled three, five twos in a row. I mean, in this instance, it worked out for me because I get rolled six, but still. How can I be rolling two every single time? At this rate, they're gonna get to the star way before I ever will. Now it's three on one for against Mario for bowl over. Alright, so in this case, yeah, as you can see, we've been stuck inside bowling pins, except for Mario, who's gonna try and bowl to get us off within two shells. He basically treats it like any regular bowling game. We try have to try and get out of his way of both of the shots. The only way that we win is if in the two throws, he d Mario does not get all of us. Let's see how this goes. You can see the perspective from our end. Yeah, if you guys want to stay over there, be my guest. Yeah, if you want to stay over there, be my guest, by all means. Oh, crap. Oh, he missed. Finish. He missed. <coughs> and thus, that's my third minigame in a row. I may suck at dice rolling, but hey, I'm good at the minigames. Yeah, I suck like crap at dice rolling, but at least I can roll minigames and I play the minigames well. Now, if you're wondering what the green question marks are for, those are happening spaces. Each board has their own unique take on them. Here on Pirate Land, if you land on a green one, you end up getting the worst possible outcome, which is to get hit with a cannonball and get sent back to start. And that happens to everyone that's on the bridge. I'm gonna buy an item. Well, since I'm not getting any younger, we might as well buy a uh, mushroom. Give myself at least somewhat of a chance at getting to the star. But as it stands right now, Yoshi could get there first. He's currently running circles around the rest of us. And he's gonna get an item game out of this one, so... You know, I think it's safe to say right now that he's looking pretty good to get the first star of the game. And so now Yoshi has to play the barrel game. Let's see how Tim does, and what he ends up obtaining. Alright, Tim, what are you going after? He's gonna butt stomp the warp block. Which, I don't know if he's not gonna want to use that until after he gets his hands on the star. Because, yeah, considering he's way ahead of everyone else, I don't think it's a good idea for him to get anything... Um, out of that right now as we go to platform peril Because it literally is platforming from an isometric perspective All we have to do is be the first ones to get there But of course we have to keep jumping and moving along and hope that we don't fall off right, Here we go 
Now, there are coins that are going to be along the way as well, in case you're tempted to go after them. I mean, it's not for me, but if you want to, by all means. Yeah, going after them is really risky. Plus, the objective is to be the one to get there first and get all ten coins. Oh, Mario fell off. And I beat everyone else. Four games in a row. And this is on normal. I'm actually shocked how well I'm doing. Well, that's in terms of mini games, of course. As far as everything else is concerned, uh oh. Yeah, Donkey Kong and Mario are going back to the start. And now I have to see if I can outrun Yoshi. Because, yeah, now Donkey Kong has no choice but to play his Golden Mushroom and get three dice out of it. He rolls five, two, and nine for 16. And away he goes. Has to give up five coins to Koopa. And then, what is he going to buy next? And he's going to get his money's worth. Yeah, I got one, I might as well get two. Now it's my turn. I don't know if this is going to be worth it or not, but I'm going to play my mushroom anyway. Might as well give myself a fighting chance. Hopefully I'll roll something decent. That's not decent at all. At least I'm safe for now, but that can all change. And I cannot believe Yoshi just threw away his shot at the warp at the coins. He just put me in first. I have no clue why Yoshi did that. I appreciate the generosity, but I don't know why he did that. Like, Tim, what were you thinking? Well, he's back. He's gonna be back here anyway. And now it's a foot race to the star. Yeah, like... And he couldn't get the first star, did Tim, in Mar in the original Mario Party 2 Let's Play for the Runaway Guys. So, yeah, I guess he's staying true to that. It's 1v3 with lights out. Yeah! Okay, so we gotta run away from Mario, who's gonna try and hit us at our light bulbs. It's basically us, our responsibility to move around while Mario swings on the fences. Okay, and oh, he's coming right away from me. Well, that was quick. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. And, well, Chugga, you two got burned in a hurry. So now I have to survive for 20 seconds. Catch me if you can there, Johnny. Whoa, you almost did. I almost stepped into you, to be honest. Yeah, reverse direction. Oh, damn it. Reverse direction one more time! Five in a row! Man, I'm on a roll right now. Like, what's going on, man? This is nuts. I mean, who knew I'd be kicking the runaway guy's butt so easily in terms of mini games? I'm sure if it was really them, it would be a much different story. Alright, yeah, I, I, let's see how Chugga chooses to play it. Yeah, he's gonna see if he stands a chance. But right now, it's between me and Yoshi. I will not pass, thank you. Oh, no! Well, well, whenever this happens, if you land next to one of the docks, you get relegated back to the opposite side whether you want to or not. So yeah, I'm back at start. So yeah, Yoshi gets the star anyway. Yeah, he used the warp, he used the warp to trick everyone, and it paid off. Because he gets star number one. So yeah... Tim gets star the one star that eluded him for an entire round of Pirate Land. The next one is actually along the same path. So yeah, gonna have to continue to fight through in order to 
even got a chance at that one. But as it stands right now, it will not surprise me if Tim gets this one too. Plus, on top of that, he's getting another mini game. So, yeah. <laughs> Second time that Yoshi gets a mini game out of this one. Shuffle him up! Shuffle him up, roll him out, do what you gotta do. So what will his fixation be this time? The same item? Uh-oh. Is he gonna trick us again? Is... Is Yoshi gonna trick us again? Because I know a lot of people who would want that warp lock of his. Bombs away. Now in this game I have to, and the rest of us have to survive for 30 seconds while while cannonballs and bullet bills are being shot at this island. The island's very unstable and we have to make sure we don't fall off. Last person standing is the winner. But if more than one people are still standing, those who have survived do win. So let's just move around and jump. That's all it is. Yeah, there's the Koopa cannon ship there. Can't wait to get at us. If you get hit by a cannonball directly, you're screwed. Oh, well, that doesn't help if they fall off also. But yeah, if the cannonball lands as well on the island and your feet are on the ground, it can stun you for a while. Oh, crap. Like that. Oh, oh I slipped off. And then with five seconds to go, they bring out the big guns. And they both survived, therefore, they both win. So yeah, for the first time in six rounds, I don't win a minigame. Alright, so, back to the game. As far as moving around on the board. I'm wondering what I'm going to use for my next turn. Well, we can see what Donkey Kong's going to use. And he'll be a fool to not um, use the toll. Because yeah, you saw the blue thwomps that are blocking the path. You can pay them to let them move aside for you. Yep, of course he's going to pay to pass through three coins. So yeah, that puts Donkey Kong... In perfect position to get the next star. So yeah, while I may be killing the mini games, I'm not doing all that well as far as dice rolls to get the star. Oh really? Well, I I do stand a chance. I do stand a chance at that one. But yeah, Donkey Kong pretty much did the smart thing. Unfortunately. Even though he got the star, he's gonna end up going back to star, which means I'm gonna have to compete with him now, too. <coughs> okay, here we go. It's three. I'm gonna buy an item. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna feel stupid doing this, but I'm gonna keep burning gold mushrooms until I know that I stand somewhat of a chance of getting a, a star. And Yoshi's getting all the coins from Koopa Bank. Oh, this is unfortunate. And it's Lava Tile Isle. There is a game that's similar to this also, but our responsibility is again to survive. We can also fight each other in this particular game, but here it's more about survival than anything else. And with the way these things move, I should not have made an attack. I really should not have made an attack. That was just blatantly stupid. Yeah, I, I didn't want to survive. I wanted to attack. And Donkey Kong wins. Yeah, I didn't want to survive. I wanted to attack. Okay, Mario, I guess it's between you and me. 
Oh, well, now he's got a... Uh, I think that's his second time landing on Happening Space. Oh, no! Now it's Donkey Kong's roll. He lands on a blue. Okay. It's gotta be an item here. Because I want a mushroom. Or a oh, star, rather. That's enough for 17. Which means I have more than enough. Not passing, thank you. Because I want my first star. There we go. Bonnie on the board. So, Proton John is yet to get a star. Oh, well, he's got a really good shot at that one. Boy, they're putting the stars in very convenient spots. And yeah, you know what? I will pay your toll. Primarily because I think that the next star is going to be somewhere in the top right. Oh! It's chance time! I landed on an exclamation mark score. On an exclamation mark circle, so... Yeah, whatever happens, um, people can... Um, get their co their coins given to someone else or a star so it could be a really Good or bad thing for someone Oops Yoshi is giving Donkey Kong 30 coins Well that pretty much assures that Donkey Kong will get the next one and It's also took a lot of money away from Yoshi But yeah, that was the 30 coins that Donkey Kong needed to get the next star because Mario doesn't have enough. But now, that could all change with a battle game! It's time for a battle mini game. Yeah, whenever you land on a Thunderbolt, that means we're going to one of those. It's 10 coins per player, but sometimes it can be more than that. If you can't pl uh, if you don't have enough, they'll just take all the coins that you had at the time. So let's do this battle mini game. And it's raking them in. So here we have to press the A button in order to move the crane arm, but it does take a long time for the crane to move. You primarily want to get the gold mushrooms. You don't want the purple mushrooms because that takes points away from you. It's all about the timing here. Of which mine sucks. And still does. Oh, that's in a very perfect spot for me. Yes! Oh, that didn't work out. And all the gold mushrooms are already off the board. Wow. That's unfortunate. Well, I got one mushroom back, but yeah, Mario's gonna finish him first. I did get second, so, um, co coins go to the top two players. Of course, the first person, person who finished first gets more. And if there's an irregular number, then the pity coin will go to someone else at random. So at least I got my investment back. What's the next game? In 1v3, it's Filet Relay. It's us against Yoshi. And a 3 on one penguin race. So, basically, we gotta button mash A and move as quickly as possible. Ready, go! Oh, wait a minute, I had first leg? What? So, yeah. <laughs> Just go as fast as you possibly can and button mash as much as possible. Alright, go there, DK. Yeah, when I was practicing this... I, I was the one player, and I actually had the lead, but I was caught in the last leg. Uh, <laughs> and sometimes that happens. Yeah, there's no such thing as phasing through someone, so if you collide with somebody, that'll set you way back. So my team won. And the penguins are all happy. Huh. 
Alright, next round. And unfortunately, Donkey Kong is uh, still in a good position to get it. And I believe he has... Oh, no, maybe not. No, nope, he's gonna be one spot short. Ouch. Alright, so I'm gonna end up on a red square. A red circle, whatever. Yeah, Yoshi wants a shot at it now. <laughs> Will he get his croc? Nope, he's gonna swap places with me. Yeah, two times in a row, man! I doubt this will mean anything, cause yeah, he's so far back, and besides, by the time Donkey Kong rolls again, either he or Mario will have gotten the star. So now I'm the 1v3. And we're playing Shock Dropper Roll again. Oh, that didn't take long to get back to this game. Ready for another round, you freaks? Alright, runaway guys, let's see if you've improved. I think they have. Yeah, I'm trying to get them to sh shake them off here. They're holding on. Yeah, in fact, I think they're gonna get me here. Yep, they got it. Right as Yoshi drops off, but Mario's still hate on long enough to get the win for his team. Okay, next round. And, wow, unbelievable. Now Mario's gonna end up finishing one spot short. Which means Donkey Kong automatically gets the star by default. And so Donkey Kong reaffirms his lead. Chugga now has two stars. But where's the next one? It's behind them! We gotta go all the way around the board in order to get to that next star. Gotta go all the way around. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's a no-brainer at this point to use the, the skeleton key for its intended purpose. He just happens to be in the right place at the right time, and he's going to take advantage of it. Well, I finally got a high roll. Not that it's going to matter at this point. And then Yoshi. It's a long way to get around. And it's Sneak and Snore, okay. I am not very good at this game. Just because of the fact that you have to move up and down and let go, but it's not easy for me to pull it off in a way that I can assure my safety. If you don't peek your head in um, after the Chain Chomp awakens, then you're screwed and you're eliminated. Let's see if I stand a chance. It's Yoshi who's out. And you can't go resume until he goes back to sleep. Ah, crap. Yeah. Yeah, get me anyway. One of them's gonna win. Yeah, it's, it is one of my worst games. So, Mario gets the victory. But he doesn't have a star yet. 